130 innocent people have been killed. More than 50,000 people have been displaced. You know, 50 schools have been bombed. Hospitals have been targeted. Red Cross has been targeted. The AP office, you know, media outlets have been targeted. And what they're saying is, okay, if you think there was Hamas presence there, why don't you have an independent investigation? Loss of life, I will not condone. Every life, every human life is important to me. I will not justify any uh, rocket attacks and I cannot justify and I cannot uh, condone the aerial bombardment that is taking place. But what about anti-Semitism? And what about I, Hamas's role in stopping the rockets? I am saying when you do not engage, when there are no negotiations, when there is occupation, when there is genocide, when there is war crime, when there is ethnic cleansing, then an extremist element takes advantage of that situation. Avoid it. How do you avoid it? You avoid it by pursuing a two-state solution by adhering to the Security Council resolutions, respecting them, implementing them, fulfilling the promises that have been made and have been often broken. So I believe that the answer is Israelis and Palestinians living side by side in peace. And it can only be done through a two-state solution through negotiations by cessation of hostilities and ceasefire is the first step in